Welcome to Board System Test 2 with the Farley MS5UD. So let's go ahead and get started. For our first notification lines, we have a Gentex SHG2415WR. This device is set on fixed 15 candela and we'll be doing March time. Now something to note about this device is it is coded on the back of the device. However, I do have it set on March time using the control panel. This device sometimes has an issue with coding. Um, so do be aware of that um, and there might be a few times where the device cuts out um, but it's because I'm coding it with the control panel. Moving over to the right we still have the system sensor CO1224T carbon monoxide detector and above it we have the Siemens DT11 heat detector. For our second notification flies we have a system sensor P2WL-LF this device will be doing code 3 and is set on 95 candela. Still the Farlight A and 80 Annunciator. Below that, we still have the System Center RTS2 key test switch, which we will not be activating today. Below that, we have two pull stations. To the left, we have a Kita B5, and on the right, we have a Farlight BG12L. And on the bottom, we still have the system center D4120 duct detector, which we will not be testing today. Nothing has changed with the control panel other than the system now being normal. I cleared all the troubles and now we have a normal fire alarm system. All right, start off today's test. I'm gonna pull the Firelight BG12L. Here we go. In three, two, one. Went through his audible phone. The strobes continue to flash. All right, for our next activation today, I'm going to activate the heat detector by using this hair dryer. So here we go.
phone. All right, I'm now gonna go ahead and reset the pull station. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to insert my key. I'm going to turn it. As you can see the handle automatically comes back up. There's the inside. I'm going to close back into place and lock it back up. The strobes continue to flash. Or this strobe continues to flash because this device has audible silence. All right, we'll go into the control panel and we'll hit system reset. All right, for our final activation today, we will pull the kit of pull station. Here we go. In three, two, one. This device is not flashing, but the FHG continues to. And I will now go ahead and reset this pull station. All right, so to reset this pull station, there is a screw in the inside. It's just going to begin turning that. I can get it. All right, to be getting turning. All right, as you can tell, it automatically reset because the pull station opened. So now I'll go ahead and start tightening it back into place. There we go. And now I'm gonna to go to the enunciator and hit system reset.